Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing feather millipedes. These arthropods get their name because of the overlapping feather-like segments of their body. Feather millipedes have at least 35 segments, and some species boast near double this amount. That doesn't mean they're big, though. These myriapods only reach an inch or two long at max size. They're flat-bodied and come in colors of beige to pink, depending on the species. As of this recording, there are somewhere around 10 described feather millipede species. However, this number will likely change with new information, as some are believed to be cryptic throughout their range. Feather millipedes live along both coasts of North America, from the Pacific coast to California's large valley, as well as the Appalachian Mountains. They're also present in Japan, South Korea, China, and Taiwan. These arthropods prefer wet forests with decaying material as their primary home. In fact, they eat fungus, which specifically needs moisture in order to thrive. Feather millipedes form large aggregations of up to 100 members across multiple generations, in places where fungal growth is present. They are most common in decaying wood, and it's not uncommon to see them in what's called a pinwheel formation, where all their heads are positioned toward the center as their bodies radiate outwards in various spokes, like a pinwheel. For these reasons, they're sometimes known as pinwheel millipedes. However, they're not the only millipedes to group like this. Fungus plays a large part in the lives of feather millipedes. Not only do these invertebrates eat all kinds of fungus species, they also work to protect their eggs from being inundated with fungal spores. Feather millipede females lay anywhere from 20 to more than 70 eggs at a time, and these are immediately transferred to the male, who spends the next two to three weeks wrapped around them in an effort to keep them safe. This behavior isn't currently believed to be anti-predatory, as males have shown no aggressive response in lab settings when their nest is disturbed. However, the presence of the male is believed to be necessary for the egg's survival. If the male is removed, the nest becomes overrun with fungus that ultimately destroys the eggs. Although it's not known what predates these arthropods, typical millipede predators include birds, small mammals, and other invertebrates such as spiders. Feather millipedes are known to produce a substance that repels ants, so this may be a defensive strategy to keep them safe from harm. It's not known how long these animals live in their natural environment. Their multi-generational group activity may be a contributing factor to their survival. However, some pet owners report they can live to be more than three years old. For more facts on feather millipedes, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.